So we're here today to set up for the Code Beam Light Conference tomorrow. Uh, this is the situation. Uh, our task is going to be to record the videos uh, and we're going to have a speaker and a presentation and we will do the video switching and live recording with Mimo Live. We have the screen in front and a lectern and the speaker will have the computers at the lectern we will have to bring the video signal here and we have to have cameras and film all of this. So these are going to be the cameras we're going to be using. They are nice cameras by Lumens. Uh, in the IHX cameras, um, the advantage of those things is uh, pen to zoom so we can remote control them from the recording booth. And we do have only one cable uh, and the one cable is going to be power and video signal over Ethernet. And I'm going to show you how that works later. And we're going to have two of those and we can set them up so that one looks at the speaker and the other one showing a little bit of the audience or the room atmosphere in general. To get the video and the audio in sync, we have a little movie that shows a, a white and a black color and synchronously it will make a white noise and now the camera captures the video and the microphone captures the audio and the audio sync meter layer in Vimo Live will detect how much they are uh, different in timing and then you can adjust the audio in the audio setting. As usual, uh, they will have a uh, HDMI connection and the HDMI connection here goes to the uh, projector. And we've got this nice device, uh, Magewell Pro Convert. Um, and that, what that does is allows you to take the, the HDMI from the computer and this is going to convert the HDMI signal into NDI and we have a network cable and the network cable will connect to Mimo Life and they um, will give the device power and also take audio and video from the device and from the computer to Mimo Life. Overnight we've added the iPad here uh, for remote controlling Nemo Live. Uh, we added some buttons uh, which makes it easy to um, start and stop the show and control the switcher and all, this, uh, all these things. Uh, very important in this case is that uh, you need a hardware Ethernet connection for the iPad and not many people know this but this is available as a, a small adapter uh, which also provides power so you have Ethernet and power at the same time and you can put the iPad into a wired network instead of the wireless network. So just to recap uh, our equipment park here, this is our network switch capable of power over Ethernet, which means it can supply all the devices with power as well as the network. So we have to run only one cable to the, uh, to the cameras. Uh, we've got uh, a Zoom H5 here for capturing the audio, which comes in through the Sennheiser wireless transmitter. Uh, we've got a Thunderbolt 3 hub here, which provides us with power for the MacBook Pro here, which runs Mimo Live. It provides us with a true gigabit Ethernet port, which is very important if you want to run video over the network. And also it has a number of USB ports, uh, one of which we use to power the fans that are below the uh, MacBook Pro to keep it a little cooler. Moving over here, we now have our backup computer. The beauty of NDI is that you can use the same video sources on two computers. So uh, without having to run additional cables, we can just 
put another uh, network um, cable and then we have all the NDI sources available on both machines at the same time which means we can use this one to uh, do a backup recording. So on this machine we do the live switching and on this machine we do a uh, single source recording for all the separate sources. And that's it. And because we use this uh, we didn't have to take a long time to set up. Uh, we only have to run one cable to every camera. Very convenient, not a lot of equipment as you can see.